Australia's CBA announces buyback. Loan growth leads to a jump in profit. Commonwealth Bank of Australia on Wednesday posted a jump in first half profit and said it would buy back shares worth $2 billion Australian dollars as strong lending growth cushioned the hit from intense competition for home loans. The bank said its lending growth outpaced rivals in both the business and home segments in the last six months of 2021, riding on a recovery in the economy from the pandemic. But its margins narrowed to 1.92% from 2.06% a year earlier and were 17 basis points below the second half of fiscal 2021 due to stiff competition in the sector. CBA said the weakness was likely to continue as the country's lenders attempt to protect market share by offering more attractive home loan rates. The margin pressure has also been worsened by a customer shift towards fixed-rate loans, which tend to be priced lower than variable rates. Rivals Westpac HTTPS colon slash slash www.reuters.com slash markets slash stock slash Australia's dash Westpac dash C's dash more dash margin dash pressure dash cash dash profit dash drops dash two zero dash two zero two two dash zero two dash zero two and Australia and New Zealand banking. HTTPS colon slash slash www.reuters.com slash markets slash Asia slash ends dash shares dash near dash one dash year dash low dash home dash lending dash competition dash crimps dash margins dash two zero two two dash zero two dash zero six group have also flagged margin pressure in recent days and National Australia Bank, the last of the so-called big four is expected to follow with a similar warning on Thursday. CBA's cash profit climbed to 4.75 billion Australian dollars in the half, from 3.87 billion Australian dollars a year ago, beating an average estimate of 4.35 billion Australian dollars from four brokerages. Chief Executive Officer Matt Komen said he expected the country to have a strong year in 2022 as it reopens its borders to the world. The lender also raised its interim dividend to one Australian dollar and 75 cents per share totaling around 3 billion Australian dollars from the 1 Australian dollar and 50 cents a share it paid to shareholders a year earlier. Its new buyback comes on the heels of a record 6 billion Australian dollar share repurchase it undertook after its full year results in August.